Hello, my name is Guo Shengyin. I'm a professor at the University of Hong Kong. I'm making this presentation on behalf of my co-authors, and it's about the COVID-19 diagnostic system using chest CT scans. We know that chest CT scans has a lot of advantage on early detection of COVID-19 and many other diseases. Particularly for COVID-19, there are five lesions. Uh, for example, ground grass opacity, GGO consolidation, crazy paving appearance, and some other lesions. And here are several photos that representing those lesions. So we have uh, two data sets involved in this analysis. One is the original data set that, collect, that collected 760 preprints uh, from the online published uh, papers up to March 25th. And the second part of the data set collected uh, more images from newly appeared publications. And we analyze the two data sets together and we split the data set into training, validation, and testing sets based on ratio 60, 15, 25. Here's a, a table that shows how the split is being done. The D0 is the original data set, D1 is the extended data set, D1 plus D0 is the combination of the two data sets. And here's how we split the the sample into training validation testing based on patients because sometimes one patient can have multiple images but all images will, will go into one set for example training set or testing set so here's the statistics of five lesions for example for ggo there are over 400 uh, appearance and consolidation there are over 200 samples and also Plot B is the number of labels, and the, the panel C represents the pairwise concordance matrix. For example, the consolidation and the GGO appear at the same time in 139 images. And the last panel is negative cases. That means it's non-COVID-19. It includes some other pneumonia and cancer and normal people. Here's the architecture of our lesion attention deep neural network. So we have a backbone networks using well-trained, uh, popular, powerful net network. And then in the end, we uh, have a fully connect layers and one branch goes to binary classification into COVID-19 and the other branch goes to the five lesion multi uh, multiple label learning. So here's the analysis of five lesions. So basically this is a, a, a five by five matrix. matrix. Uh, for example, you can see the consolidation uh, and uh, GGO are not very powerful in terms of binary classification of COVID-19. And the other three lesions are much more powerful. So this is like a dual learning task. One is primary, the other auxiliary. And the auxiliary, learning for multiple labeling actually can help our primary task of classification. So here's the lesion attention map. And you can see that in comparison with the baseline model, the LADN model actually can more precisely focus attention on those disease areas. The disease areas, the lesion areas actually is, is boxed by this green color box. Here's our diagnostic uh, accuracy based on ROC and the precision and recall curve. So we also evaluate our result based on F1 score accuracy and uh, sensitivity. So here's the definition of all these uh, evaluation metrics and uh, all these numbers are around 90%. We also developed a online diagnostic website. So this is a website actually is very fast. It can output the result in seconds and you can easily upload a single image and uh, the result can, can be shown on the screen immediately. 
You can also work with multiple images. For example, you can zip all the images together and then up upload together. So it can also output the result very fast. You can also collect the new data through the data collection window. And all this uh, program code and uh, the data set are being updated continuously and it's all publicly available and you can access our GitHub website. Here's the reference for our work and I want to thank you for your attention.